Hello, friends. Welcome to day 20 of Reconnect, your 30-day yoga challenge. To nourish is to provide things to help one not just survive, but to thrive. And that's what today's practice is all about, an opportunity to nourish yourself with breath and with relaxing postures that lighten your load and help you thrive. Before we begin, if you enjoy my classes, then please click the subscribe button. Please also consider becoming a Patreon. Patreon supports me making these videos and it gets you special access to classes and content I only create for my patrons. It's a wonderful community. I hope you join us. If you are a member, thank you. And if not, you're welcome to check it out. So today is gonna to be a restful, restorative, relaxing practice. We'll be mostly on the mat. I will recommend a block. You're really gonna need a block for today's practice. If you don't have a block, you should have a block. <laughs> but if you don't have a block, um, you can use a box or a couple of books. Just make sure that whatever you choose is stable. It's not gonna slide around on you so that you can relax and not have to worry about it, okay? so. We'll put the block off to the side for right now. And let's begin in a nice, easy, comfortable seat. Sit up nice and tall. Let the shoulders melt away from the ears. Close the eyes. Let's take a big breath in through the nose. Open mouth, exhale, relax. Again, breath in through the nose. This time lift the shoulders up to the ears as you inhale. Open mouth, exhale, let the shoulders melt. Come back to a normal breath in and out through the nose. Continue to relax into each breath. Bring a soft awareness to the crown of your head and feel a sense of ease, tension melting across the scalp. Relax your forehead and your brow. Relax into your eyes, your cheeks. And soften your tongue, relax your jaw. And for the next couple breaths, each exhale, imagine any tension melting, dissolving from the muscles of the face, the shoulders, the whole body letting go of tension and stress. Let's begin our class with some words of affirmation to welcome a powerful transformative energy into your life. I'll say these words out loud and you repeat them silently to yourself. Here we go. The purpose of my life is not merely to survive, it is to thrive. Each day I will nourish myself with everything I need to thrive. Let's sit for a few more moments, eyes closed, and just breathe this intention in. Feel it in your bones, in your heart. Slowly blink your eyes open. All right, let's take a big wide leg seat here and grab your block, have it handy. We're gonna start by opening up the hips 
and the low back, especially the QL or quadratus lumborum. That's that muscle right above the hip bone, right below the lowest rib that feels like a steel cable <laughs> sometimes when you sit all day or hunch over a lot. And we're going to loosen it up and welcome some space and some ease into that place, okay? Right leg stays nice and long. Bring the sole of the left foot inside that right thigh up by the groin. And then use your block, and I'll recommend starting on the highest setting here. Um, out, just outside the knee, place your right elbow on the block, and left hand can come to the thigh and just gently, and you're not forcing this thigh down, you're just gently letting gravity pull the outside of that left thigh down to open up the hip and increase the stretch in the QL muscle, which is right over here. Gaze up to the sky, open your heart and your gaze to the sky. And then take a few breaths to let your head gently come down to your fingertips. Just ease into this. And you can reposition this block wherever it feels most natural and easy and comfortable. And after a couple breaths, let your head settle in to your hand. Keep gazing up to the sky, allowing that left thigh to fall down to the earth. Close your eyes here and breathe. You're not forcing anything, not really pushing anything, allowing gravity and breath and a little time to work some magic here. Just relax and enjoy. Now, as you feel the lower back open up here, you can change the block to a lower setting and deepen if you'd like, taking it down a little bit more, or you can stay right where you are if that feels good enough. You don't want to push it too much here. You want to stay in a place of ease and rest. As you inhale, slowly rise. Mm. Take both legs wide and just lean back into your hands. Roll your head around a little bit. Just be a loosey-goosey in the shoulders and the spine. All right, let's do the other side. So sole of the left foot comes inside that right thigh. Move your block outside the left knee. Left elbow comes down. Again, take a few breaths here to let your body settle and find its way. Relax as the right thigh comes down toward the mat. Relax as your head comes down into the hand and gaze up, open the heart to the sky, breathe, relax. You can reposition that block wherever it gives you maximum comfort for the shape where you can really let go and rest.
the idea here with yin is really about staying for a little while and relaxing. The more you can relax, the more you can let go, the deeper the release you'll find in these tight, tense muscle groups. Just bring a gentle awareness to your breath. Again, you can deepen by placing the block at a lower setting if you feel things are opening up a little bit, or you can stay. Don't feel pressured to do anything past the point of comfort here. rise up really take your time here staying in this yin relaxed energy hands come back again extend both legs long and just roll around a bit in your upper body big full deep breaths okay all right feeling juicy and relaxed good <laughs> take your block in between your legs we're going to fold into a wide leg forward fold using the block to support your head as you come down so root the sit bones lift up nice and tall heart crown of the head nice tall long spine begin to walk your hands forward imagine the fold coming just from the hips and the spine is staying nice and long here each inhale Lift and lengthen, committing to that long, tall spine. Each exhale, you can deepen a little bit. Once you meet a little bit of resistance, a little bit of sensation, you can just stay there and breathe into it. Relax. If you need to stack a couple blocks up to keep yourself supported in a place of ease, that's great. And just let yourself come down to that place of balance with a little bit of sensation in the stretch and a little bit of ease and rest and hang out there breathe If you notice your mind feels anxious and your thoughts are all over the place, that's fine. Don't beat yourself up for getting lost in your thoughts. Just keep coming back to your breath. Let your breath be your anchor to the present moment and to a place of space and ease. As you feel things open up, you can lower the block setting or again, stay right where you are. Keep it in a place of ease. slowly rise again bring your hands behind you breathe roll around a little bit feel alive and present 
in your body and feel the effects of just being present and breathing in a mindful way that feeds and nourishes. And blink your eyes open. All right. Come to your back and have your block handy. We're going to come into a supported bridge pose here. So bend your knees, bring your feet hip distant apart. Heels draw in just enough so you can touch the heels with your fingertips. And then grab your block, lift your hips, and place your block right underneath the sacrum in a place where it feels nice and solid. You can choose any height of the block that works for you here. I'm gonna choose the medium setting, but you can go lowest, you can go the highest. Again, do you in a way that nourishes. <laughs> Remember the theme of the class, okay? Close your eyes, hands along your sides, and just relax. And feel as if gravity is pulling the weight of your body down. And it's pulling out any tension, any tightness, anything that is rigid is being dissolved into the breath, dissolved into the earth. Feel the muscles of your face soften and relax. Your shoulders become easy. As you inhale, breathe in space. Exhale, breathe out what is tense and tight. Inhale, breathe in blue sky. Exhale, breathe out dark and heavy. And continue to breathe in blue sky, open light. Breathe out dark, tight, and heavy. And now I'll guide you through relaxation of six points on the body. And when we relax these six points together, it has a dramatic effect on the nervous system, moving from a place of anxiety and stress to a place of ease, calm, rest, and repair. And so first, relax into the palms of your hands and the soles of your feet. Feel a softness and opening, almost as if a fist is opening in your palms. Breathe and relax. Palms of hands, soles of feet. And now relax from the eyes to the ears, across the cheeks. Eyes to ears, relax. And finally, relax the tongue and the jaw and the whole pelvis from the pelvic region all the way down to the tailbone, relax. And now all together, palms and the soles of the feet, relax. Eyes to the ears, relax. Tongue and jaw down to the pelvic floor and the hips, relax. Now 
Now you're welcome to stay here if you're in a good place. Or you can take your feet straight up in the air for waterfall pose. And if the block feels uncomfortable in your back, you can try a couple things, maybe tilting the block a little bit uh, toward you so the flat part stays on your sacrum or using a blanket for the block. And if this doesn't do it for you, then stay in supported bridge. It's a really great way to balance energy, balance blood pressure, the sense of energetic calm and balance. Relax into your breath. Find that sweet spot where your feet feel almost weightless, stacked over the hips. A sense of letting go of ease so the legs are floating above you. And breathe. As you exhale, slowly lower the legs if they're lifted. Remove the block from underneath you. And let's all find sweet Shavasana together. Bring a little movement to your fingers and toes, your wrists and ankles. Inhale, reach your hands overhead, great big stretch from fingers to toes. Exhale, knees into chest, roll to your right side. Push yourself up to a seat, the top of your mat. Bring palms together at your heart, close your eyes. And raise your thumb knuckles to the point between your brow and we bow to one another in light and love. Namaste. Mm, I didn't want to come out of Shavasana. I didn't want to come out of supported bridge. I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. <laughs> Grab your journals and today's journal exercise is first I want you to 
sit with the word nourishment. To nourish is more than just sustenance, right? More than just survival. It's thrive. It's, it's giving you the things you need to thrive. So sit with that for a little bit. Think about the things that nourish you in your life. Think about how you feel when you think of nourishment. And then write in your journal, three ways I could nourish myself today are, and see where your pen takes you, okay? If it's late at night when you're doing this, write three ways I could nourish myself tomorrow, uh, or three ways I could nourish myself tomorrow are, and see what happens. You might come up with something unexpected or you might go back to some tried and true things that you know nourish you, but maybe you haven't found the time for it and you can reconnect to those things. Love you lots. Great day 20 and I'll see you tomorrow for day 21.